Hey guys, today we're gonna to be playing with Lisa Eldridge's new lipstick. <laughs> I just got a box from her. I am beyond thrilled. Big thank you to Lisa Eldridge for sending these over to me. I don't, I don't even know what's in here. I don't know if it is all of her new lipsticks or, or what. But um, well, there's quite a few in here. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we have most of the new ones, if not all of the new ones. Of course, I will leave. A list of everything down below in my description box you know everything that we're going to be swatching and playing with but let me go ahead and unbox all of this so we can get a clear sense of what's going on here so i see that i have eight of the luxuriously lucent lip colors oh just kidding no i have seven i can't count <laughs> i have seven of the luxuriously lucent lip colors and i have three of the insanely saturated lip colors so we're going to be doing um, arm and lip swatches of all of these shades. Um, I will start with the luxuriously lucent lip colors and I'm just gonna go in alphabetical order <laughs> just because that's that seems to make the most sense to me. Okay, first things first, let me remove the lipstick that I have on. I had that uh, Merit Beauty uh, Signature Lightweight Lipstick in 1990 on my lips now if you were curious. So we're gonna start with Je Ne Sais Quoi. Here is an arm swatch of it. This is a really beautiful, like warm, uh, peachy shade. And a lip swatch here. This formula is my favorite Lisa Eldridge lipstick formula. Creamy, um, they're, they're very well pigmented, but they're not like overly insanely saturated we'll get to those they're not insanely saturated they're just really really easy to use and the colors that she develops they always glow i feel like they make my lips look like they're just radiating light from underneath so here is je ne sais quoi and on lisa eldridge's site she describes this as a warm creamy coral it's like the perfect description for this Ooh, so pretty so so pretty Next, we have Le Mapri, and this is a beautiful nude shade. Here's an arm swatch of it. And here it is on my lips. Ooh, ooh, this is a beautiful, beautiful, like light nude shade. I think it just, for my skin tone, it just has like enough coloring to it to keep it from looking too like concealer lip. It actually makes my lips look pretty um, full. <laughs> Who doesn't like that? <laughs> so Lisa describes this as a soft beigey hue. Think Brigitte Bardot. I, I used to have a dog before Miss Butters named Brigitte, and I named her after Brigitte Bardot because she was a fawn, a blonde pug. <laughs> so big, big fan of this nude shade. Next we have Meet Me in Berlin. I am probably most excited for this shade, as you guys know. Just love a grungy lip. It's what I just took off, that Merit Beauty 1990. It's like very similar to this. So here is an arm swatch of it. And here it is on my lips. I would say, well, at least compared to the 1990, since I just had that on, this has a hint more coolness to it. Just a hint almost like there's a little bit of a pink underneath. I actually prefer this. This is really, really gorgeous. And it's not too like uber grungy, like really, really like fudgy brown. This, yeah, this definitely has like a really nice soft, soft, soft pink undertone in there. So Lisa describes this as a deliciously rich tan shade, which delivers to various intensities as a brown nude across all skin tones. There's a hint of avant-garde and counterculture feel to this one. I just love it. So that is Meet Me in Berlin. Next we have Night Thoughts. Ooh, this one is very sexy. And here is an arm swatch of Night Thoughts. Mm, this is such a perfect shade because it's not too purpley. I feel like a lot of shades that get this deep, they're either very, very brown or you've got this like purpley wine color. This is like right in between. Mm. She describes this as like a creme de cassis shade. Wow, not only is she a true artist when it comes to makeup and colors, 
but with words too. This <laughs> creme de cassis, this is perfect. Uh, sensual black cherry hue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As profound and deep as the conversations with friends that carry through the night. Mm, just gorgeous. Okay, I swear these shades are getting like better and better. All right, next up we have Palazzo and this, look at this. Oh, here's an arm swatch of this. This is like my perfect red. Again, she has somehow created a red that has just a little bit of warmth to it, yet it still looks like it's just glowing from your lips. Glowing so much that I feel like they, this red almost looks like it has almost, almost like a gold kind of metallic sheen to it, but it doesn't, it doesn't. It's almost fooling my eye. Wow, I feel like we have like a whole slew of like new <laughs> favorites here. All right, next we have Rosy Shell. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Here is an arm swatch of Rosy Shell. And there it is on my lips. What a beautiful pink. It is cool toned, but it's not too, like there isn't that much white in there. And it's not cool enough where I feel like it kind of borders on lilac, which I feel like a lot of cool tone pinks do. And Lisa describes this as a delicate coastal pink, a light pink with a mix of cool and warm undertones. Rosy shell is a picnic on the beach in July. Mm -mm -mm. All right, and the last luxuriously lucent <laughs> lip color we're gonna be playing with is Wonder Wheel. Wow, wow, look at that <laughs> color. <gasps> Oh my God, here is an arm swatch. Wow, wow, let, let me get this on my lips, holy sucks. If this isn't the embodiment of like fun summer color, I don't know what is. Holy cow, that is so, so much fun. That is so bright, but I also don't feel like well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I was gonna say, it doesn't feel like all you see are my lips. There are some colors that are like day glow, where it just like light is emanating off your lips. This is doing it a little bit, but I feel like it's doing it in a really controlled way. Let me see what Lisa says on her site about this shade. It's a deliciously juicy popsicle pink shade. A mouth-wateringly vibrant reddish pink that alights lips with the heady nostalgic fun of the Ferris wheel. Wow, you can say that again. This is just beautiful. This is one of those lipsticks I feel like I would not need any other makeup on. Just throw this on and that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. It like lights up your face. It makes your lips glow. Everyone's eyes are gonna go straight to your lips. Oh, maybe a little mascara, but that is Wonder Wheel. Beautiful. All right, let's move on to the insanely saturated lip color. And I have three of these shades. Now the first shade I'm gonna try out is called New Wave. Couldn't be more excited. That's one of my favorite music genres. <laughs> and oh my gosh, this is perfect. This kind of purple, I think Pat McGrath did something like this, but I remember talking about this shade of purple. I can't remember who did it. Um, and in relation to one of my favorite 80s movies, which is a Michael J. Fox movie called The Secret to My Success. And his boss's wife, and I think his boss maybe was like his uncle or something. Anyway, his aunt, I guess, aunt-in-law, so an aunt not by blood. Anyway, she like kept coming on to him. <laughs> and she's this famous actress, I cannot recall her name right now, but there is this whole um, scene where she's putting on lipstick and it's this, shade it is this shade of purple and there's that um what was that group saying was it called yellow was their name anyway they had that 80s song that was used in like every probably still is used in every commercial every movie it's like Ch -ch -ch bow bow that one <laughs> anyway let's try on new wave so here is an arm swatch of it and these insanely saturated lip colors, by the way, are not as matte as her true velvet lip colors. So these are a creamy full coverage lip color and they deliver a weightless, luminous, demi-matte finish with one swipe. So let me take off Wonder Wheel as much as it pains me to do so. <laughs> 
Okay, here is New Wave. Oh, this is so good. So, so good. Gorgeous. Okay, let's see what Lisa says about this shade on her site. Uh, New Wave is an unashamedly bold magenta. Yes. Modern yet classic, subversive yet soft. With its cool blue undertones, this statement cyclamen shade is shot through with edgy glamour and electronica chic. This is definitely very, very electronica. I feel like in the late 80s, I definitely would have worn this color lipstick to the club, for sure. Okay, so that is New Wave. Next we have Strawberry Shock. Oh my God, her colors, like what is even happening? Here is Strawberry Shock, here is an arm swatch of it. I'm getting as much of this New Wave off as possible, but it has stained my lips a little bit. So hopefully it doesn't affect the way these other lipsticks look only because they're so pigmented. Anyway, I feel like it's gonna cover up anything. And here it is on my lips. Wow, that is incredible. Sorry, like completely spaced out, just like staring at my lips. Uh, let's see what she says about this on her site. A sun-filtered red that hides a dash of shocking punk pink extremity at its heart. A bright, shouty, strawberry daiquiri hue that instantly energizes. Yeah, that's the understatement of the year. Instantly energizes. This is like a jolt. An absolute color jolt to the soul. <laughs> Okay, last swatch we're doing here. This is called Sunday Matinee. Oh, this is so pretty. I suspect this is gonna become an everyday favorite. Here's an arm swatch of Sunday Matinee. Oh, wow. It's a little bit brighter than I suspected. It looks, looks pretty much the same. Wow, okay, really beautiful. And this um, matte finish, this demi-matte finish, is really deceptive because these really feel very, very creamy on the lips. So she describes this shade as a soft, pouty, medium pink with a hint of warmth. Never washed out or too try hard. It's as insouciant and laid back as a Sunday spent watching your favorite classic film. Wow, gorgeous. And I have to say, I have a pretty warm eye look on right now. I have the Guerlain Royal Jungle quad on. You will have seen a video of me trying these on yesterday. But anyway, I feel like all of the shades that I've put on have gone like well, have gone fine with this uh, fairly warm eye look. I'm pretty surprised. Anyway, here is Sunday Matinee. Well, those are all of the shades that uh, Lisa sent over. I think, I think these are pretty much all of the new ones, 10 in total. I am in love with all of these. I'm trying to think if there's any like any ones that I can call out that are a favorite. I love Wonder Wheel. I love uh, Meet Me in Berlin. I, uh, Les Mapri, um, New Wave is so I love them all, I love them all. I'm not gonna pick, I'm not gonna pick. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.